There has been no, never such confusion in the minds of human beings as it is today, as to the right or wrong. Never so much. Whatever was said, this was not good, they would do. Knowingly that they are doing wrong. If it, they were good people, they would say, all right, this is good, we'll do the good. But everybody knew that this was wrong or right. They may do it. But today no one knows what is wrong and what is right. Apart from wrong and right, it's much beyond that. You have to know yourself. Because this awareness is within us that we do not know ourselves. We do not know the absolute. We live in a relative world. Of this everybody seems to be conscious, maybe in the subconscious or maybe in the unconscious. But definitely there's a feeling in every one of us that we do not know. And it's a very honest feeling. It's a very sublime feeling that we have to know something more. Now when we say the word no, we think uh, as if I would say, I don't know about the Bishar, I've never been there. Now this means what? I don't know about the Bishar. I mean, what do, don't I know about the Bishar? I can read it in the books, I can find out. I can know all the history of the Bishar. I can find out who are the people who, will, who were making beautiful porcelain here. I can find out all about their history, everything I can read about it. Still, why should I say I don't know anything about Derbyshire? Because I have not been to Derbyshire before. I have not been to Derby. I have not been to this area. I have not seen this place. I have not visited it. I have had no experience of this place, so I don't know about it. This is exactly what is the situation. The situation is that we do not know about the Divine. We have read about it. We have heard about it. So many people have written about it. Once they know there's an inquiry about it, they come out with books. Books after books, thousands of books they have written. How many of them are true and how many of them are untrue? It is impossible to find out because we do not actually know. Supposing somebody says that Duke of Bedford was born in Derbyshire, all right, how will I know? I would not know till I meet somebody who is really belonging to that place, who knows about it. In the same way, the knowledge that we have also about divine is very confusing. But this is not knowledge. This is never the knowledge. The idea of knowledge comes to us as if it is a kind of a, an answer to our inquiries which is rational which we can understand intelligently through our intelligence. But now this area is beyond intelligence, beyond rationality. Beyond all that is limited is the unlimited area. All such unlimited areas can be only known by experience of your awareness. Now this one should understand is a very delicate thing, how to know something and experience of our awareness. Not an experience, you suddenly see a light, so it's an experience. I mean, you can always see a light. It's so great. The people feel about it that they have seen some light suddenly sparking before them. Nothing so great. There could be some areas from there a sparking can come and maybe uh, it is of no use to you, but just you might feel that you have experienced. So one must know that seeing is not experiencing. For example, a dog sees this instrument. But what does he know about it? He sees it. Awareness, the human awareness, has so many great things about itself compared to the animal awareness. For example, we can say the awareness of beauty, animals don't have, awareness of cleanliness, Animals don't have. Human beings have these built within themselves. They can feel it. They can feel it on their central nervous system. So whatever is your awareness is to be felt on your central nervous system. It's not just an imaginary thing or an intellectual discussion. Ah, yes, yes, I know, I know. Not that. The knowledge should come to you through your feelings, like 
I can feel this is hot or cold. But a stone will not feel anything. In the same way, the feeling has to come through your central nervous system. That means your awareness itself is to be going, is, has to be charged. It has to get a new dimension. Your awareness itself has to get a new dimension. All other experiences has no meaning whatsoever in evolution, if you see. In evolutionary process, it is the awareness that improves, receives better and better dimensions. And these dimensions have reached its maximum at the time when you become a human being, where your awareness is just ready to receive the awareness of the universal being, of the collective being, so that you become the collective being. Now, I would like to tell you about this within ourselves, how we are placed. For every practical purposes, you should not take me for granted. But you should not also deny what I tell you. It's like entering into a new university. We listen to the professor and we try to follow him. Supposing he propounded, he propounds a hypothesis before you, then you just start judging it. Work it out. If it is true, then you call it a law. In the same way, we should enter into this new understanding by first seeing it, not denying it. Then if it is true, then we have to believe it. There should be no blind faith about Sahaja Yoga. Blind faith does not help at all. Neither there should be a denial. And with that cheerful attitude, if you just listen to me as a hypothesis, whatever I'm telling you, you need not accept it as to just now. But then the time has come for me to prove the truth to you. And the truth can be proved to you. Time has come to prove the existence of God, to prove not prove that I give you a big lecture or take you to courts or some sort of a thing like that, but how am I going to prove it on your awareness? It is going to be absolute experience of your awareness that you are going to feel God Almighty. Time has come to prove the scriptures, all the scriptures. The time has come to prove your own connection with God, your own relationship with Him, your own relationship with that primordial being, whether you call it God or anything, I, it makes no difference to God him, Himself. Whether you call Him by any name, there is God, and that God is not the way you conceive God. It's not the way you understand God or you know God, but is the God as He is. 